All Saints Day. And I hope that last night was uh, joyful and meaningful for you. And today, just a brief reflection uh, to ground us on this All Saints Day. And so I welcome you here and let us pray. Loving God, we come before you grateful for all those who have gone before, all those we have loved and continue to love, and all those who are with us and who are up and coming and being mentored and nurtured. We thank you for this great continuing line of saints, this great cloud of witnesses. And we thank you for this absolute knowledge that we are not alone. And so bless us on this All Saints Day, this beautiful day, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hello, Lee, and hello, Joan. So um, I'd like to begin this time to, today with lighting of the Christ candle. And may we remember that all we do is in the presence of Jesus and that we are, we really are never alone. We have the love of God with us all the time, and we have the love of all those who have loved us throughout our lives. And so I'd like to begin by remembering the saints who have gone before. And so I'm gonna read some scripture, and if you were with us in church yesterday, this is from the Book of Wisdom, which is in, not actually in the Protestant Bible, it's in the Catholic Bible. But these words are so, um, I think, so comforting and remind us that there is so much more beyond what we actually know. This is from the Book of Wisdom. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of God, and no torment will ever touch them. In the eyes of the foolish, they seem to have died, and their departure was thought to be a disaster. And they're going from us to be their destruction, but they are at peace. So this morning, I invite you to have a candle ready. We're actually going to be lighting three candles this morning. But to have a candle ready to remember those who have gone before. And I'm not going to name all the ones in our faith family. I hope that you... Um, are able to offer up the names of the ones who are closest to you. But in my family, I light this candle and remember most recently Gary, my mom, and my uncle Herb. We light a candle in faith, in hope, and in trust in God. But all the saints are not in heaven. There are saints of the earth, and so I read to you from the Gospel of Matthew, and this is from chapter 5. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. And then he began to speak, and he taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. And blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. So there are those among us who are blessed now, and and you know them, we all know them. They are the ones who have helped us get through tough times. They are the ones who have inspired us to keep going. They are the ones who work alongside us as we try to make the world a better place in our own humble way. 
So I light a candle now for all of you, for all of us who are the saints today. I light it again from the Christ candle. to honor all goodness in the world today. And finally, on this continuum of, of beauty and goodness in this world, we think of the saints of tomorrow. And as the saints of today, you may be somebody who is mentoring or nurturing or inspiring somebody who is up and coming and who is just finding their way in the world. And God bless you if you are one of those. But I offer this scripture from 1 John. See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we will be has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this. When he is revealed, we will be like him, for we will see him as he is. And all who have this hope in him purify themselves just as he is pure. So I light a candle now for the ones who have not yet been, we do not yet see. And I light this in the utmost hope of the goodness and the purpose that we are all being drawn into. On this All Saints Day, let us remember that God's time is eternal and these flames represent an eternal, a continuum of goodness and love that we participate in, that we benefit from and that we bestow on others and that comforts us beyond death. Let us pray. Gracious and Holy One, we give you thanks on this day for all who work for your goodness. We give you thanks for the way you inspire us to be a part of this great parade of witnesses, this cloud of witnesses, those who have gone before, who are here now, and who are still to come. We know that we are not perfect. We know that sometimes we work against the saints instead of being one of the saints, but we trust in your forgiveness, in your love, and in your need to bring us to a place of wholeness and leaving the brokenness behind. Bless us on this All Saints Day, I pray. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you all. It's so nice to see you all here. And, and I hope that you have been able to pray and remember and to trust in God's goodness. And I will see you again later on in this week. But happy All Saints Day. Thank you, Colleen. Thanks for being here.